don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. That's the lady that has been trending on social media currently, and she's amazing with the ball at her feet. You can see she's really good with the ball. She's a freestyler, and I thought you guys should see that as the opener to this video. As usual, welcome back to Sahara Football. As I said, as usual, I'm Das Fiawe, your host. Welcome back once again. The weekend is upon us, and it's it's it's, it's a great it's a great it's going to be a great weekend. Kumasi Asante Kotoko will be in action against Nkana FC in Zambia. We hope they get the results that they need, and we hope that Kumasi Asante Kotoko will emerge triumphant on the day. I'm going to talk about them. I'm also going to talk about Emmanuel Boate. He has completed his move to Chinese side, and. I'll, t I'll give you more details about his transfer and everything else you need to know. And also, I'll be talking about the Black Stars coach Quincy Apia and his assistant Ibrahim Town with their plans to get the best possible squad for AFCON 2019. So, if you are new to the channel, I advise you to subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell to get more updates. But before I begin today's news, I'd like to ask to remember a few general two journalists that died during the just ended under 20 Afcon Championship. There are two Malian journalists and on their way back home, they were involved in a road accident. You can see their pictures here on your screen. They are called Aziz Haidara and Suleiman Sango. We are condolences to their family and friends. It's really sad. They were just doing their job on their way back. They were involved in a road accident and they died. And this is rather unfortunate. We will hope their families stay strong during these trying times and no one wishes this upon any fellow journalist and we hope their families are able to go through this. So I'll just get right into my stories and I'll start with Emmanuel Boateng. Yes, as I told you a few weeks ago, Emmanuel Boateng is on his way out of Levante. He wanted more playing time and he's going to get that at his new Chinese side. So Levante have officially announced his departure. And the story says, Ghanaian striker Emmanuel Boateng has completed a move from Spanish club Levante to Chinese outfit Delian Gifang. The La Liga side have confirmed. Now, the move brings an end to frustrating time for the 22-year-old who has struggled for playing time and form this season following an impressive time last term. He made 16 league appearances for the Frogs in the 2018-2019 season, starting seven and scoring once. This is an official statement from Levante. Levante UD and Jelly Yifang has reached an agreement for the transfer of player Emmanuel Otre Boateng to the Chinese club. Now, the forward arrived in the Granola team in the summer of 2017 with Mario Sensei. Mario Sensei, and the almost two seasons he has played at the Quitat de Valencia team. He has played 50 games between La Liga Santander and the Copa del Rey, in which he has scored 8 goals. Levante UD would like to thank Emmanuel Boateng for his work and commitment during all his time and wish him luck in his new professional stage. Boateng is fondly remembered for his outstanding 2017-2018 season, which included scoring an incredible hat-trick against Barcelona and netting against Real Madrid. Before moving to Spain, he played at Moria. Moreirense and Ariel Ave in Portugal. The attacker has made his international debut against Japan last year, has three appearances and one goal for Ghana. So Emmanuel Boateng, there a quick profile on him. Emmanuel Boateng, we all know he's a great player, a very young player, 22 years of age, and we feel the sky is the limit for him. And we hope he does work in wherever he, he finds himself. He's now in China, Dilian Yifang, we know the Chinese and also everything about them we hope this will be a great transfer for him and that Emmanuel Boate will get the playing time he so gravely wants. Now the striker Emmanuel Boate's move to China side Elia Nifang from Levante is official. He will receive 11 million euros the second highest transfer in Levante's club history 
Watson's wages is rumored to be around one hundred and five thousand dollars a week, almost five times what he was making at Levante. So some hefty paycheck there for Emmanuel Watson. We hope he he gets the playing time and. In China, personally, I, did, I didn't think it was time for him, a player like him, to move to China. But hey, what do I know? Maybe he knows what is happening for him and what he needs right now. And he feels China is the right move for him right now in his career. And I feel Emmanuel Boateng, I, all I can do is wish him the very best. Let me know what you think about this transfer. Do you think Emmanuel Boateng should have moved to the Chinese side or he should have gone to another club? Let me know your thoughts considering his age most young players like this tend to want to play with the big clubs and develop and nurture themselves before moving out to what some supposedly called retirement hopes in these chinese and asian other asian clubs out there let me know your thoughts what do you think about Imano Barton's transfer to yeah, this chinese side daily and Yifan? let me know your thoughts in the comments box now to my next story it's about kumasi asante Kotoko. we all know kumasi asante Kotoko are preparing to face in, Ka in Kana FC in their CAF Confederations Cup clash and it's really really going to be important that they get all three points or a win they must not lose that's the best result not a loss they must make sure they don't lose on the day and we'll hear from good CK Akono but first let's have a look at the players let me read a story to you Kotoko have arrived in Zambia um, ahead of their CAF Confederations Cup game against in Kana FC as I said now let's have a look at some of the players who arrived there now this is the fitness coach Emmanuel Amate as he explains a point to Jordan Okoku. This is Songe Akuba here in your picture as well. Montari Tego is on the right and it is fun to be with. And medic Joshua Zor feels just that. So that's them. And Steven Nyako on the right tries to pick on Emmanuel Jemfi on the left end. So the Charles Kabla Kono Spotifying touched 1140 Central African time. To a warm welcome from the host in Ghana United, who they play against in the CAF Confederations Cup tie on Sunday. So it took just 15 minutes for them to return to their camp shortly after they were reassembled for dinner. So Kumasi Asante Kotoko, they've landed safely in Zambia. We'll first hear from Coach CK Akono on what he feels they need to do to get the best result and what the best result will be for him. And we'll also hear from midfielder Bob Bonsu. So let's hear from the two guys. It's a fact, you know, if you look at our, our groups, we've all won our, our home matches. And so if any other team can do something, then it's away. When you go on away matches, you must try as much as you can to, to get a good result. A good result means that uh, you should not lose. And that is our target. Whether that will materialize, uh, I cannot tell you. But we are very certain that if, if we work hard and understand what we have to do uh, at every given time uh, of the game, uh, where we, we, we cons we're focused throughout the 90 minutes, uh, there is a chance for us to, to get a good result there. We've come now. Um, it hasn't been that easy. Um, I know the expectations are very high, but um, from, uh, from the playing board, you know, we're going... Uh, to give our everything that we have and, and we, we, we're going to try our possible best to have the character um, I mean to stay uh, mentally tough and then uh, to give our best like I said to, to get that three maximum points. So we just heard from Coach CK Akono and Kwame Bonsu very very much in high spirits both of them and we hope they get the results that they need to make it through to the next round of the CAF Confederations Cup and um, this is there's still the group stages this is at Inkana FC and in Zambia and it's going to be a tough tough game and we hope they do well eventually we hope they get I want them to get all three points so I move on to my final story and the story it's about Black Stars and their preparations for the AFCON 2019 now it says Tanko and Kwesiapia are off to Europe to monitor Ghanaian players now the story reads Ghana Black Stars head coach Kwesiapia and his assistant Ibrahim Tanko are going on tour to Europe to monitor Ghanaian players abroad as part of preparations for the African Cup of Nations. According to sources, Kwesiapia will also use his, this opportunity to select a camp base in one of the European countries where the Black Stars will have their pre-tournament camping ahead of the tournament. Now, Spain has been mentioned as a preferred destination due to its closeness as well as same climate with Egypt. Unconfirmed reports indicates that Chris Yapia may visit Kevin Prince Boateng of Barcelona and Sule Montari on this tour. 
spokesperson for the Normalization Committee, Dan Kukuyewa, confirmed this in an interview on Asemba FM. This is what he said. Kosiapia is going on a trip to Europe to check the campaign base for the Black Stars and monitor players as well. It's true, the sports minister, Isaac Isiyama, and president of the Normalization Committee, Dr. Kukuyama, wants the team to have a good preparation because we don't have enough time to plan. So this time around, they want to do something different. It is why Kwesiapia and Ibrahim Tanko have started their preparations for the AFCON because we don't want to have any problems concerning preparations this time around. Kwesiapia and Ibrahim Tanko are going to two places to check which place will be suitable for the pre tournament campaign, he added. The Black Stars have a game against a game in the qualifiers against Kenya at home next month to decide who tops the group. Ghana have not won the African Cup of Nations since 1982 and have been in the fi- have been in two finals in the last decade. That was in 2010 and 2015. And we lost both of them as you can as you already know. And we hope the campaign will get the right place for the players. We hope the players will be selected. And what do you think about Chris Yapia going to visit um, players like Kevin Prince Boating and Sule Montari? Do you think Kosiapia is looking at calling them back? Eesh, that would be interesting. As and when I hear anything fresh and juicy, I'll let you guys be the first to know. So that has been it for today, guys. I've been looking at Stante Kotoko arriving at the Hotel in Zambia ahead of the Nkana FC clash and also Emmanuel Barton's big, big move to the Chinese side, Gary and Lee Fang. What do you guys think about that? Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. That has been it for today. Condolences to the families. Of the two journalists, Haziz, Adara, and Suleiman Sangu. Condolences to their families once again. This is not what we wish on anyone's family or anyone at all. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your weekend.